Okay, I'm going to set up for the next game, or for the first game of the night. Snake, it's Otacon. I have a warning for you. We just got a hot tip. Hatsune Miku is in the area. Snake, you be careful. She could sneak up on you in any minute. She's a twin-tailed voice synthesizer android. I don't know how you're going to battle her. You've got to watch it. She has the power of a god. And Intel tells me she actually created Minecraft. Can't believe that it. That means she's really smart. You be careful, Snake, whatever you do. Are you listening to me? Professional Snake? to the end. He only smiles at the very end. And barely. Very, you know, very professional voice actor. Okay, everything's set up. Time for some fat butts. So last time I played this, there was a bit of an issue. And I was a little upset. I died on a really horrible level. And, um... And I couldn't rewind. But I fucking did it. I did it in my own time. I spent 20 minutes. And I... I completed Pinball Zone. Because you have already seen the whole thing. You don't need to see it anymore. But I, I went through the level pretty quickly anyway this time. So it worked out. It worked out well. Like it wasn't... It wasn't nearly as painful. Um, so, so anyway, we're gonna just do the boss. The Wario Hop. Mario's Roulette. Oh, gambling, huh? Right. Oh, that's horrifying. Wrong. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? It's, um... Oh. Okay, that's a little scummy, but I'll do it. Oh, I gotta figure out. I, I just have to know where the, the things... They have to be directly over the face. Vinny, is this classified as body horror? Even the Chernobyl show doesn't really have that much body horror. It does, but it doesn't. It's a lot of vomit. Oh, I gave him my eyes. Shit. How is my memory this- this shit? This is not a good game for me. This is a bad minigame for me. Okay. Sex eyes. And, uh, and, then, 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 and sex lips. Alright. That's a really disturbing face, Wario. Oh, God! Three. I got a Kern.
so I'm on a fucking wheel in the desert. This is the opposite of Luigi on an egg. Did that cactus just shake its ass at me? Hey Mario, I'm on an egg flying over the fucking ocean! Yeah, I was a little distracted. Cactus. <laughs> takes a while to earn coins in this game, doesn't it? I would like to show you that I am, in fact, sad and a cowboy. Sometimes Wario just rides. Just for a long time. Got a boss fight. Is that before Google Dino Game? I think so. Visor Man. It's Vine Ryzen Man. Big. Please! It's an apple bomb. Here's a smile for you. Thanks. It's the only free item is a smile. I kind of want to get, like, the visor man. So I'm just going to do a couple more mini-games. Vinny, thoughts on the Picard series title reveal? It's just... It's just Star Trek Picard. I, I can't say I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, like, they showed a, a visual, it was like a graphic, and the title... It just said, Star Trek Picard. It's like, oh, okay. The creative, the creative minds that brought you, um, the ending of Lost. Now bring you the Star Trek Picard series. Did you hear the production is still delayed? I did not know that, but now I do. So they revealed the title, even though there's a production delay? Amazon picked it up and Netflix wanted nothing to do with it. Oh god, they're gonna ruin Picard, aren't they? They're gonna ruin Captain Picard. Someone just said, we're going to see Picard fuck. How <laughs> Don't say that ever again! But, but... There is an episode of The Next Generation where Picard fucks. You don't see it, but it, it, he does. It's implied because... Patrick Stewart wanted the character to have more like a James Bond, like, romance debonair quality to him. And so it was, uh, Captain's Holiday. So, yeah, he, he does, um, 
They give- Riker gives him the Horgon, which sounds like the word horny. Um, and the Horgon is a statue that, if you display it while you're in your Speedo, or whatever, it means that you- you want to, like, you know... You know. So Riker tried to get his homie laid. Oh, I forgot to get, uh, Visor Man. I guess the main problem isn't that Picard fucks, it's that I don't want to see it on screen, and I- and I think, like... It's fine if he's younger. But now he's, like, 78. And I don't want to know about that. Oh, that, that's a scummy-looking bird. Wow. Wow, Wario's an asshole. Eat the eggs, Wario. Yeet them. You- you want me to heat them? No. Oh, this isn't going well for me. Hold up! Dumbass! Killed by ducklings. You can throw up while jumping. Oh. Secretly. Secretly, I just wanted Visor Man. For real! Someone said, I throw up while jumping all the time. I heard someone on a podcast explain the uh, chicken joke by saying the joke is only funny because the chicken it just wants to cross the road, because you think it's about other chickens, but it's about crossing the road. It's like, no, dude, the other side is heaven. It's the- it's the spirit realm. Which people still- uh, still don't believe me about. In chat. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight for this. I talk about this all the time, but man, that chicken joke is not just anti-humor. It's layered. It's like an onion. Stop this. Stop. Oh.
Vinny, what is the chicken joke? Uh, rest in peace, Visor Man. Rest in peace, four coins. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, what is the chicken joke? The chicken joke is, why why did the chicken cross the road, dude? That uh, That's the chicken joke. To get to the other side. Wait, are there people that lived in a vacuum? That did not know that joke? Well, I call it a joke. I mean, that's... It may not be a joke. Maybe it's a philosophy. But yeah, I wonder if people live in, like, an actual vacuum cleaner. I wanna be your vacuum cleaner, breathing in the dust. So, yeah, I just went ahead and became an expert at this. So, yeah, I had this book. It was a book of jokes. It came with a rubber chicken. Vinny, I'm gonna need that full vacuum cleaner song. It's, um, it's called I Wanna Be Yours. It's a cover. I don't know the original version, but the Arctic Monkeys did a cover of it. It goes, I wanna be your vacuum cleaner. Uh, hang on a minute. Rubber chicken joke book. Rubber chicken book. Wow, they still- it's used. But yeah, I just found it. It's the rubber chicken book, a fine collection of... Bad skits, goofball stunts, front yard acrobatics, and really dumb jokes. And I loved that book because it came with, like, uh, a rubber chicken and it told jokes. And, uh... Well, now you know why I'm so funny. You know I am zany now. Yeah, if only I had a laugh track button. Kind of seems like the way to go. Was it a full rubber chicken? Oh wait, no, I can't go this way. What am I doing? Um, I don't remember if it was a full rubber chicken. I do, the only sound effect I have on cue is this. Watch the terror. I'm on episode two. I think I'm just finishing that up. 
Um, it's not at all Lovecraftian, really. I said it was, that was a mistake. I mean, it's it's got horror elements, it just it feels a little foreboding in the same way a Lovecraft story does, but it's, it's, uh, it's really good. The, the boat show, yeah, it's two boats that, um, are at the Arctic Shelf to try to find a passage to someplace. And, um, Mance Raider, Edmir Tully, and Anderson Dawes are in it. Some of you know who these people are. But, yeah, it's, it's actually great. I love it. And, uh, yeah, they get stuck because the, um, one of the captains is stubborn. It's like, yeah, we'll push through. We'll definitely be all right. God's with us. And then they get stuck in the ice. It's based on a true story. It's based on, a, like, well, I mean, not the supernatural elements, but... Well, I mean, we don't know that. Could be, yeah. But yeah, I've, I've definitely... Uh, good recommendation, Jeff and everyone who told me about it. It's good. I like having a TV show to watch while I'm cooking dinner. Or, like, before bed. Or, um, yeah, especially cool shows that involve horror elements and, like, weird fucking body mutilations. That way I can sleep with, um, good dreams. Really cool, super awesome dreams. What about podcasts? Well, there's a, a podcast for the Chernobyl TV show that explains some of the production stuff, but mostly just the events that happened in the show and how they relate to what happened in real life. This music is great. Any of you watched Lake Mungo? No, because the name was always too silly for me. No, but seriously, what is it? Is it any good? Is it a horror movie? Have you ever seen Dead Alive by Peter Jackson, director of Lord of the Rings? It's a ghost mockumentary. Okay. Lake Mungo is like horror, but The Office. Okay. What we do in the shadows is like st stupid vampires, but The Office. Drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I'm a wizard. Still haven't deleted it. Jermaine is apparently in... The, the next Avatar movies?
That's not Jermaine, by the way, for those that didn't know. Jermaine is a different human being. There was- oh god, can I- Can I, uh, read a headline to you? Because there's- there's a thing that happened that made me laugh today. So, Taika Waititi is doing a movie. It's a comedy movie about Hitler. <laughs> Not what you think it is. It's I don't remember. I don't really remember what the um, what the context of this movie is. But this was the headline. To play Hitler in Jojo Rabbit, Taika Waititi did zero research because the guy is a fucking cunt. So Taika Waititi tweeted, "To be clear, Hitler is the cunt." What a headline. What a headline. That is a head. You gotta make sure your headlines are clear. How do I take him down? Oh. Bounces the way you're facing. Oh, you do have control over that. Vinny, are you gonna stream the Zelda Necromancer? No, sorry, Zelda Necrodancer game when it comes out. Yes. Someone said they hear Dancing Queen from ABBA in the song. Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> way, way to ruin the song. No, well... It's not ruined, it's just now I'm never gonna not hear Dancing Queen. enough. We do the dance. The monster dance. Wario is the dancing queen. Young and sweet, only 17, feel the beat of the tambourine. Dancing Queen, Wario is the Dancing Queen. Yeah, I'm only uh, 17 years old. My uh, auntie Bertrude, uh, uh, what is her name? Gertrude, uh, Gertrude. No, it's, yeah, it's Bertrude, but. There's another, he's got another aunt. It's Aunt Gertrude. Uh, this is the comedy you come here for, right? Just miss all those cool things there. Check 
chicken jokes. That damn right. Now you know. Vinny Origins is a chicken joke book. You know, someone said in chat, I always thought Dancing Queen was the most overrated ABBA song. I don't know very many other ABBA songs, so I couldn't tell you. I couldn't speak to that. But... I want to mention Fleetwood Mac. There are so many Fleetwood Mac songs that are, like, super overplayed. But I don't hate them any less. That's one of the few bands where I can still listen to all of Rumors. And, I, and I'm into everything. I'm into every song. And I just... I've heard them so many times. I missed something. The carpet respawn. Okay, it's time to get the fuck out of here. destroyed that arrow by collecting it. Shit. What can you do? I missed the key as well. What happens when you miss the key? I think I fucked up. No new level. Oh, that's great. Straight to Topaz, for now. You know what? I just thought of a good idea. I'm a little tired, and I bought this cold brew. Now, I'm not drinking a lot of coffee at 1 a.m., but I'm going to have a little coffee. So I'll be right back. Hey, does anybody want some coffee? I've been meaning to try this too. I figured this would be a good remedy. Like if I just take a, a like a little bit and, and inject the coffee directly into my bloodstream, maybe I'll be more awake. That is definitely, that is definitely coffee. What brand? Trader Jim. Cold brew. 
ready to drink. Could use a little sugar and, and milk, but it's good. It's actually really good. Don't even need the sugar and milk. Don't even need it. And welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we're going to be doing some uh, block building and stacking and throwing. No, I'm not drinking any more of it. No way. I know what to do. Someone in chat just said this man managed to beat Cuphead. Excuse me, Mr. Vine Sauce, are you the person that beat Sekiro Shadows Die Twice live on your stream? I've never seen anyone do that. I was just wondering, can I have your autograph? Excuse me, Mr. Full Sauce, is it? Wow! Mr. Subnautica? Yeah, they just start calling me by the games I've played. Mr. Zelda Breath of the Wild, is that you? I'm a big fan of your work. Mr. Tamadachi, that would probably be the one, or Mr. Corruption. Mr. Tamadachi or Mr. Corruption? Mr. Galgun? No, that's not, I'm not okay with that one. Mr. Gigglebone Gang. Mr. Pennsylvania. Oh shit, it's Pennsylvania! He's here at Too Many Games! Convention, Too Many Games, he's here! Holy shit, he's DMC2! He's here! It's a very silly stream again. It'll never be that, though, because I'll never play DMC2. It's kind of, um, weird that Nintendo would release DMC1 on the Switch, but not the Trilogy. I know why they're doing it, I think, which is to test the waters and also to possibly make money. Capcom, I s I'm sorry, why did I say Nintendo? Capcom. But yeah, they can, they can sell, say if DMC1 sells really well, they could just sell the second one separately and make some good money. And then the third one, which is the best one of those, from what I understand. I've only played that one, it was good.
Penny, will you stream DMC1 on the Switch when it comes out? Nah. Probably not. <laughs> Bungled again. I still would like to stream Spyro, too, at some point this year. Especially now that they got rid of the fucking motion blur. And I'm still waiting on that Resident Evil 2 DLC. The one that's supposed to do, like, a, a randomized mode. Like a roguelite mode. came out, though. Did it? Oh. No. Rogue-like, not light. Are we doing the term discussion again? Roguelike is a misleading term. I've been saying... I've been trying to reprogram myself to say roguelite. Because they're not the same thing, and, you know... I don't even care. Every game is a roguelike, according to Steam. Nobody really cares. Oh no, people do. Look at chat. Look at the yachting right now. Some people really do care, and I, I don't really... I just say roguelite because roguelike implies that it's much more like Rogue, which was the original game that did the thing. your favorite game so far this year? Um... Uh, not Sekiro. I, it's, it was great. Ah, oh, man. Favorite game this year. Either DMC5 or Resident Evil 2, Capcom killed it this year so far. No, uh, new games that came out this year, not Mother 3. Uh, 
Oh, okay. That's the big brain right there. That's the big brain. It's weird because, yeah, RE2 and DMC5, both excellent games. But if you switch the numbers around, you get two very questionable games. Even though I think Resident Evil 5 is not that bad. That's why I say questionable. What about Baba is You? Baba is You was was great. Baba is You is a is a cool game. It just kind of petered out a little bit for me at the end. But no, it, I mean Capcom released my two favorite games this year so far, and Sekiro is is damn close. I had a lot of fun with Sekiro, but it, I think I had more fun with both of those games. Where'd I get that fire? That's how you get that. I, this game is is great. This is another fucking great game. You gotta have some big brains to play this game. They really nailed a, a good, like, combination of um, platforming and thinking. Wario is, is kind of low-key one of the best franchises Nintendo has. It's always pretty solid. Between WarioWare and, and this stuff, and, and me fucking up that puzzle. Yeah, even the Virtual Boy Wario is pretty good, which is probably the best game on- it is the best game on the Virtual Boy, isn't it? Unless you like 3D Tetris, and you like getting sick. Crash Team Racing. I'm actually really excited about Crash Team Racing. I think that's going to be great. It's a remake, but they're doing... They're doing a lot of extra stuff. Like, they're they're adding so much to it. And I, I never played the full original 
Crash Team Racing. So a lot of it's going to be new to me. I played it at a friend's house, and I played the demo that came on the PlayStation Magazine demo disc. Are you looking forward to Dragon Quest Builders 2? I have a weird confession to make. That might be one of my most anticipated games of 2019, for some reason, even though I never even played the first one. I don't know why. Oh, that was a secret. Okay. Well, I've read a lot about it. I saw it played at PAX. Um, I... You know, I've watched videos, I know what the game is, and it just, it looks like a fun game. It looks like a really fun game, it looks like the sequel expands on a lot of the things the first one did right, did really well. ended up getting everything there. Speaking of egg salad, even though Wario is not saying uh, egg salad, I'm gonna speak about egg salad anyway. Egg salad smells like poop. So be careful if you have that around you, and there's other people near you, because they'll think that you brought the big poop with you. Someone said wrong. Someone in chat just said wrong. This is an objective truth. There is no arguing. this. It's a board game? in this game is really, it's really great. Who are these little Wario imposters, though? I kind of hate them. Also, I'm getting vibes from this whole region of the game from, like, uh, Mario Land 2, when you're inside the giant toy Lego Mario. sun looks like it just saw like someone getting changed somewhere in the village like somewhere to the right someone is like sunbathing topless Yeah, those are actually Lego trees. Those are just straight up from the Lego playset. Okay. 
Is anyone here past 30 that still builds Lego sets? Um, last Lego set I built was a Star Wars one when I had just turned 30, so I guess I count. Oh, no! Oh, fuck you, game! Oh, yeah, I did the yellow submarine. That's right, I forgot about that. I did the yellow submarine Lego set. Vinny, you are actually so amazingly blind. Thanks, bro. I thought maybe lightning was good. I was like, maybe lightning is a superpower of some kind. I got a got. here. Much bigger on the inside. Oh, the background stuff is, is nightmare fuel. A little bit. A little bit. It's supposed to be cute, but I hate it. I didn't need the secrets anyway. some hot butter ice cream on pancake bread and die. No, oh, no! How is the pancake bread anyway? It's pretty good. I think it delivered. Thank <laughs> you. 
so I have to just keep going. It's like I didn't fail. It's like I never even failed everything else that happened. I missed a lot. Yeah, the, there's some drugs happening in the background. That sun... That sun definitely, uh... It's looking at some suns under the influence of some pretty heavy fucking di dimethyl trypton... Tryp whatever. <laughs> dimethyl trypton dream. methyltryptamine, thank you. Even with the coffee, this is not my finest work. This game... I want coffee. No, no, not coffee. Egg salad. You know, we've been talking about egg salad. Doodle dip woods. Danger art. Someone's gonna make... He, he's gonna... Like, this is the Buru. But people just make fine girls. And doodle dip. And they all come to life to haunt me in real life. And and endless meat. Endless meat. <laughs> Finny, but doodle dips are good. So is meat. I don't want them to be alive though. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. are saying this character's name is Pig Casso. Okay, I can't do anything with that. I thought maybe I have to approach that from, from the north region. Maybe. Whoa, 
would you do if you were recognized in public as the doodle dip guy? Well, now that you said that, someone's gonna do that. Hey! Are you the doodle dip guy? My name is Kathan. Nathan? Oh, Kathan! What, like Caleb? Levels bonkers. Big spin. Speaking of meat, someone apparently modded. What game was it? Someone modded a game to have meats as the voice of the characters. Shit. No, it was like uh, it was. It was Fallout Four. Fallout Four. The um. The ghouls. They modified it to, they modified the ghouls to have meat voices. They just took the meat noises from my stream. Which by the way is intellectual property that I'm going to have to ask for compensation for. Thanks. Oh the meat noises were in yeah, the head crabs for Half Life as well. Secret missed. There's a lot of secrets in this game that I've been missing. me. Don't mind me. Everything's fine here. Everything's fine. This pig lad is worse than Lakitu. This will go down in history as one of my blindest playthroughs. Oh boy! I've just been told to stop not thinking. Meanwhile, all you had to do was just say thinking. No need for the double negative. Just say thinking, dude. Test out something. Yeah. 
Someone said you can kill him by throwing snails at him. But... Then you're being japes. This is too frustrating. Maybe I should play some nice Zelda 2 randomized and relax. With some nice, non-frustrating, non-terrible Zelda 2 randomized. back up without having gotten the item first. time around. I'm not going to miss the secret either. Whatever that secret may be, it's mine. It's later? Oh. Already missed? What's your take on the new King Gizzard album? I was surprised that it didn't sound all like Psy Boogie. I thought they were putting out like a, a weird disco-y synth album, and it turned out to be kind of a little folky and all over the place. It goes from like weird psychedelic shit to like harmonica and like, folk music, and it got a lot of mileage out of variety, which means, um, it could be hit or, hit or miss. Mostly hit, though. That's my take. My hot take. I like the song that goes, Sai booty! Sai booty! Yeah. It's a gr grown up adult stream tonight here on Vine Sauce. Like Akarin, yeah, that's a great song. Vinny, do you have an all-time favorite King Gizzard song? I think Rattlesnake is their best. I don't think Rattlesnake is their best song. I think it's their silliest, most catchy song. I think it's a good like intro to the band. I I think Nuclear Fusion might still be my favorite song.
Sleep Drifter. Um, what else? Robot stop. It's hard to choose a favorite. I, I don't think I have a favorite. It, it's too difficult. I, I actually really, really like the first track on uh, Gumboot Soup. Beginner's Luck. Um, Muddy Water is great. I mean, there's just so many to choose from. Crumbling castle. Fucking hell, how do you choose? How do you choose? How do you choose? I do know that Nuclear Fusion was the song that really got me into them. Aside from Rattlesnake, so that's that's why I said that one first. There's a song called Head On, in parentheses, Pill, that I had never heard until I saw them live, and the way they did that song, it was, it was great. Someone said Jesus and Mary Chain? Well, I saw them open for Nine Inch Nails. They were really good. Very... I don't know, just solid, great band live. Um, I was never really like the biggest Jesus and Mary Chain fan, but seeing them live was a whole different thing. Religious? No, they're not a religious band. They just call themselves that. There's also a band called the Jesus Lizard. The dude who produced Nirvana's In Utero produced their records. And, um, or some of them, I think. I don't, I don't know if they, he did all of them. Albini. And they're heavy and weird and, and loud. And I don't believe they're about religious lizards. There's so many, like, artists and band names that are, are bizarre at first, but then you just get used to it. And you're like, oh, that's fine, that's normal. Like, The Who. When I was at the Met looking at the guitars and stuff, you know, Keith Moon's drum just says The Who on it. And I'm like, yeah, that's definitely a weird name when you think about it. Effective. They were almost called The Detours, which is more generic. Yeah, there's Butthole Surfers. Don't forget about Butthole Surfers, everybody. Don't forget to go butthole surfing. Secret mist. Vinny, do you have any interest in Void Bastard's game? I've seen it. I've seen it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's got a cool art style. Chad, do you mind if I chew gum on stream? Yes, you want me to? Yeah. All right, guys. Look at the domino row. I wonder if someone's gonna start a stream one day like that. Like, their whole gimmick is that they just chew gum on stream 24-7. 
All right, guys. Welcome to the um, the gum chewing channel. It would have to be a Boston guy, though. Like it has to be like Jerma's cousin, um, Slurma, because Boston guys can chew gum, and it sounds it sounds better. issues with my controller going left then you have to smash the button yourself all right I'll do it if you smash the button smash the bell Someone wrote, Vinny, Pulp and Pond are nice recommendations, but sorry, King Gizzard is fucking shit. What the actual fuck? Which songs did you listen to? If you're not, um... If you're not trolling. Probably listen to Murder of the Universe. Yeah, that would do that. That's like a surface of the sun take. Oh, no, Murder of the Universe is a cool album. I just wish they would have left Charles off of it. Thanks for reading that. Rattlesnake and Nuclear Fusion. Okay. Um, can I give you a couple more suggestions before you uh, write off King Gizzard? I don't think it's bait. I don't think it's bait. They, they seem to be listening to the band. He could be trolling, but let me, let me help you out anyway. Check out the following songs. Beginner's Luck on Gumboot Soup. Greenhouse Heat Death. See if you like those two. Check out Reels Not Real from Fishing for Fishies. And then check out the first song on Nonagon Infinity, Robot Stop. And if that doesn't do you no good, then you then you leave them alone. You don't touch them. You stay away like like uh like some kind of like like it, like it was the devils. Like it was the devils themselves. What about Gamma Knife? Well, I'm giving them a couple to start with. Because there's- I love so many of their songs, but I'm trying to think what would be a good... I mean, some people just don't like certain music. I mean, that's- that's never gonna change. That's why I don't think they're trolling. This isn't universally good music for everyone. I think it-, it I think it's great. And most people I've- <coughs> I've showed the music to... ...like it, but... Um, I think just to start, those are some good ones. Kind of hard to single out a song on Nonagon Infinity. True, but Robot Stop is really strong on its own, even though it does lead well into the next song. What about Rem Lazar? Good song.
Good dude, I know him personally. Did I win? back for that. This is a cool level. Not every level in this game is, is a complete hit for me, but I will say that I love the variety. Not just in the objectives per level, but also the, the themes. It doesn't, you know, they don't reuse the same tile sets. Wouldn't it be cool if Wario was an optional character in Mario Maker? That'd be nice. Undersea Spiky Taco. Even if he didn't have, like, the shoulder charge. It'd still be cool. Someone in chat a minute ago said something like, um, I wonder if there's anyone that listens to Red Vox and watches Vine Saw simultaneously, simultaneously that doesn't realize that Vinny is in both things. It's apparently happened. I don't know how true it is, but, um, I've had people tell me, Well, I've watched this guy for years and I stopped watching him for a while and now he's in this band that I discovered. It's, it, I don't, it's probably... Probably BS to be honest, but it's a comment that I've seen on. Um, I think you can even check out another light on YouTube, and it's in one of those comments. Could be real. I think it's probably it's probably a very small percentage of people that have heard the band, if it is real. I'd say that the odds are in its favor of happening at least a couple times, though. 
Or maybe uh, the better odds are someone heard Red Vox at some point. A friend, you know, showed it to them or whatever. And they've heard the name Vine Sauce, or maybe watched the Mario 64 Corruption video like several years ago. But otherwise don't watch regularly or know who I am. That might be much more likely. Got everything, cool. <laughs> Someone in chat wrote, So they're into semitones and shit, this King Gizzard. They started doing semitones on one of their albums and they've used it a couple times since. Yeah. So the reason the album is called Flying Microtonal Banana is because, um... Hang on. Is because, uh, Stu, the singer and main songwriter and lead guitarist of Gizzard, got a guitar that has, um, microtones. So... Look at the, the frets on the neck. Some of you may not know what this means, but it's basically notes that you don't usually hear in traditional scales. Um, this is the, uh, the neck of a, just a regular old Stratocaster, so you can see, like, the frets are, are definitely a lot different, and uh, you can get some of those notes between the notes. So uh, that's got to be a nightmare to, to learn how to play and like get it second nature and and not um and not revert back to playing the chords that you already know. So, uh, so from King Gizzard, tell me about guitars. You like guitars? That's nice. Go get coins. Well, I was thinking about switching to uh, Astroneer. Maybe I'll just let you guys stew for a little while. Hey, stew again. Is there, like, another two hours of this game left or more than that? Would you say? Less? Okay, so then... About two? This is something like two? Alright, so then I'll save the rest of the game for the next stream. Because, um... I would like to stream Astroneer. Because it's getting late. So I have... Two new levels and I have to do a fucking Arabian Night level again. Um, I have a boss, and then I have the, the middle of the pyramid. So, yeah, definitely can knock that out next stream. Music. Ha <laughs> ha 
Um... Okay. I was just waiting for Yoko Ono to show up. You know, John Lennon once wrote a song. The lyrics are... It's not really a song so much as it's like a little interlude between songs. Lyrical genius he is, he goes, uh, Yoko Ono, oh, oh no. Yoko Ono, oh, oh yes. This is music? Oh, it's just Mr. Fly. That's all it is. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for watching Wario. Oh, I changed the, uh, size of the thing here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We've had enough Mr. Fly. Thanks for watching. We're gonna, um, save it here and boss fight next time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you didn't see that. Good game. We'll resume uh, soon. I don't know. You know, how does my real overclocked Game Boy do that? I don't know. It's real strange. So, Astroneer for a little while. Up next.